Okay, right now we're going to show you how to build your drip campaign. Now this particular lesson is assuming you've already gone through the process of already writing letters to put into the campaign or you plan on using pre-written letters that are already in the system and provided to you globally within the West USA system. So you can see in here when we go up to mailings and email you should already have letters in here before you can even build it. So from here you've got the mailing piece library. You can see if you haven't written any yet, all the West USA letters are in here. Stick with the West USA letters only. Do not use any of the other department letters. They will probably end up referring you to the wrong areas. You do not want to use those. All of the letters that are in here or pre-written by you are probably the ones you want to use. The West USA ones are safe. They will always include all of your information in them. So make sure you uh, use any of those. So you've already pre-written your letters and you're ready to start building the campaign. You actually have two options over here. One says create a campaign and the other one says campaign templates. I'm finding that the create a campaign link does not work as easily because it's requiring you to immediately assign the campaign to a client or a mailing list. So do not use that one right now. You're going to go simply to the campaign templates. From here you can see templates that are pre-built in here. So you could if you wanted to go in and adjust any of the campaigns here or what we're doing today is just create a new campaign template. From here you're going to name the template. My recommendation is that you do what you did and when you were writing the letters and use your initials at the beginning so that all of your campaigns bunch up together. So in this case I'm going to call this buyer campaign. And this has my initials in it so that it will be all bunched and I'll be able to see all my campaigns. And I could put a description in here and just say campaign for new buyers where I have no contact on them. I haven't actually spoken to them yet on the phone because they either didn't have a phone or something. Now I have the option to pick out the email that I want this campaign to always come from and I already have my email account set up in here and obviously you need to have that in order for this to work. There is a video that shows you how to set that email up so that this does work. You have a choice if you wanted to, to build a letterhead. Um, we are not going to be doing that and I don't recommend you do. It's not anything that's important. It's Remember, we're trying to keep your email clean. The more inform, uh, fancy things you put into your mail, the probably bigger chance it's going to end up marking as spam and won't get through. So let's keep it nice and clean. The next step is real simple. We just go to select all the mailing pieces. Now every letter that's available to you that you've either written or already pre-written globally by the company is in the system. So at this point what we're going to do is start picking out the mail that we want to use. So you might want to go in ahead of time and read through all of these to make sure that it's something you want to send out first. My first letter is probably going to be the one that just says thanks for registering. So I'm going to go over and it's real simple. All you need to do is put a day in. As soon as you put a day in, it will then automatically pre-fill these boxes and circles. Now, what did I put in just now? I put zero. Zero means today. If I put in one, that would be tomorrow. Or seven would mean a week from today. So this would mean this is the day that you want the first mail to go out and you could put anything in here. So if you turned it on and didn't want to go out for a week, you could put a six. In this case, it's a new buyer campaign. We weren't able to reach them on the phone, so we want to say thanks for registering. Now we might want to go through and pick out some other ones. Oh, let's see. How about five steps to purchasing? In a couple days, I might want that to go out. So I'm going to put four days from today. I want that one to go out. And then maybe I want the buyer advisory to go out in a week. And it basically says, would you like it? Oops, sorry, that's the relocation guide. And now we want the buyer advisor out, maybe in 10 days. So then we might want to say, oh, let's check on you in 30 days. So we're just going down. So remember, when I put in dates, days like this or numbers like this, this is from when the campaign starts. Now let's just say in three months for sure, I want to send out a specific email uh, or at the end of the year, let's say that. At the end of the year, I want to send out a specific email and I want to make sure that they get it. Well, this is assuming I've closed on them. I might want to send out the happy holidays. Do you want a copy of your HUD? I'm not sure I do, so maybe instead, let's say, and definitely by the end of the year, let's see if they want a market update. So I can go down to the end of the year. 
And maybe on December 1st, I say, oh, do you want a market update? Now, obviously, I know what all these letters say or I wouldn't schedule them. So I can have a combination of dates from when it starts or definitely at the end of every year, this particular person will get this mail, all right? Once I pick out all the letters, they're going to be all scheduled, ready to go. I'm just going to hit select. Now you can see they're all somewhat in order, but I'm now I'm going, well, what exactly do I send out? If I click right on this, mail on day, it will resort. So now I can see this is how they're going out. So zeros today, fours, four days from today, assuming I turn it on today. But keep in mind, this is really just set up generically for any client you happen to turn on, and you can go within the client and turn that on and tell it when you want it to turn on. And that's a whole nother video, so watch for that, how to turn it on and how to turn it off. So basically, now I've got everything in here. I'm going to hit Save Template, and my new template is now in here that I have set up called Buyer Campaign. Now, if I want to go in and adjust this, let's say later on I go, you know what, I don't really think I want to send this email out in that order anymore. I want to take it out. I can hit OK. And I can actually select more mailing pieces and change it up. Instead, I want to send out this one. And I'm going to put in a date. So whatever day I pulled that out, let's see, I can go, they're all down at the bottom, by the way, 4701. Now, let's say I want the very first email to be something else. Uh, maybe they were just a visit request. I can go that, all right, and then now I can just hit select it, and it will. I've now corrected it. Now my very first one is a visit request, okay, and I can save this template. All right, so you can do it however you want, but you can adjust. If you decide you want to change letters out, you can change them out without having to rewrite the whole thing and rebuild it or just build a whole brand new one. You can double use letters. So if you've got campaigns used in one camp, letters used in one campaign, you can use them in another campaign. Um, it's, the sky's the limit pretty much. All right, and to turn the campaigns on and off, we'll just show you really quick how to do that again. We go over to the dashboard, we pick out a contact. So now that I've got it written, I just go into the contact of someone that I have in the system. And this is on another video, but you can go down to the mailings and go to add personal mailing campaign. And now I'm going to go find that campaign that I wrote, whoop, that I wrote for myself and turn it on. And uh, new contact campaign. Here it is, buyer campaign. I'm just going to click on the one that I just wrote and hit select. I'm a little bit out of the screen here, but I'm going to hit select. I'll sign that campaign. So here's what I just built. And now I turn it on and it's on. Now it's going to automatically pull Brad Pitt's name in in every location that I had put his name in. And uh, anything else, my signature line, all of that, it's automatically going to fill in. So I don't have to worry about going in and physically putting it in every single time. It's already built for all of those letters to pull it in automatically. So that's how that works. Make sure you hit save before you leave and it is ready to go and it's on. Now if you want to know what's scheduled to go out, you can go over to mailings and email and see everything that's scheduled to go out for all of the campaigns that you've turned on for every client you have. And really what I've got here is for the next seven days, but you can click over here and see what's due to go out over the next 90 days or what has been completed over the last few days. So you can see here, this one's scheduled to go out today because I'm recording this on the 29th. And you can see what order they're scheduled if you decide you want to turn them off and say, oh, I don't think Brad needs that letter. I can turn it off from here if I want to. Um, and Or I can send it now instead of waiting till May 3rd. I can now say send it and it will turn, we'll send it on out. So then it's all ready to go. It's out. So now these are the ones just pending to go out. So that's it. Hope you understand. If you have any questions, let me know. But I think this is pretty easy to use and very fun and it makes your marketing so much easier because it's totally hands-free. Good luck and have a great time with it.